Hello, welcome to the Margin Art Show, the Cyber Scooty Show. You're going to want to know this about the Flipper Zero, what I'm about to cover right now. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. Wi-Fi enabled developer board brings debugging and firmware update capabilities to your Flipper Zero. Uh, the developer board is based on the ESP32 S2 MCU with custom firmware incorporating Black Magic Debug and CM. SIS DAP and is built with ESP IDF. It can flash and debug various microprocessors and microcontrollers, including the one used in your Flipper Zero via Wi Fi or USB cable. The developer board provides a debug interface, allowing developers to halt program execution, set breakpoints, inspect variables and memory, and step through code execution. This developer board can also act as a USB UART adapter. Please note this. And if I didn't say it before, I'll, I'll say it again. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. So note this. Out of the box, the, the developer board firmware doesn't have Wi-Fi network analysis and penetration testing features. However, they can be implemented additionally. Now, let's talk about the hardware. The developer board is equipped with an ESP32 S2 w rover model which includes built-in wi-fi capabilities it also offers gpio pins for easy connectivity to various targets additionally the developer board features a usb type c connector for data transfer and power supply for user interaction the developer board has tactile switches tactile switches okay mark with your big tongue self big tongue self so debugging process overview you're going to want to note this update your wi-fi de developer board before using it update your wi-fi developer board before using it the debugging capability of the wi-fi developer board is based on the gnu debugger which is the gdb which allows developers to examine and manipulate the internal state of a running program on the target set breakpoints step through code execution, inspect variables and memory, and analyze program flow. The developer board acts as the GDP server, which provides a bridge between the GDP client running on a host, micro, uh, on a host computer, and the target microcontroller, uh, which is, you know, your flipper zero. The debugging process is controlled by the user on a computer connected to the module via Wi-Fi or USB cable. Via USB, the developer board is connected to the computer using a USB type C cable and the system recognizes the device as a COM port. Now let's look at via Wi-Fi. The developer board broadcasts its own Wi-Fi network to which your computer can be connected. After connecting to the network, you can set up the connection to an existing Wi-Fi network. Data exchange between the Wi-Fi developer board and your Flipper Zero is conducted via the serial wide debug interface. The following GPIO pins serve this purpose. We have the pin 10, which is the serial wire clock SWCLK, uh, and then we have the pin 12, which is the serial wire debug data IO SWDIO. Now, there is a there is a debate, guys. There is a there is a debate, and there is some uproar. You know, there's a, there's going to be uproar. Uh, Canada, and I put, I did a video on that. Canada uh, recently banned the use of Flipper Zero devices. Some people are calling it an out, or Canada is using uh, Flipper Zero as a scapegoat. I, I did a video on that. Please let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Do you think that Flipper Zero is a threat when it comes to unlocking car doors? Because so many people think to do that that, it, that is the case, right? So uh, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. Thank you for watching. Uh, thanks for the support as well. See you on the next video.